wow, I just got angry at future comments that might not happen. Making videos makes me crazy. So the past week, past three weeks actually, I haven't been working out, I haven't been running because I got COVID. And then after COVID was over, I did work out for a couple days, but out of an abundance of caution, I'm gonna wait a little longer post COVID to make sure everything's okay because some people say you should do that. China wants me to be careful, so I'm gonna be careful. I have a wife and kid. I can't put myself in danger anymore. Remember the old days? Remember danger, Craig? Since you're such a risk taker, Evil Knievel, let's do something dangerous. Ah, my feelings! I'm abundance of caution, Craig, now. And I gotta tell you, not working out, not running, I don't like it. I don't like it. I just feel more unmotivated, tired, kind of have more negative thoughts going on. Exercise really gets the heart pumping and it cleans out the br the brain pipes, you know? I guess. I'm not what am I? I'm not a doctor. I just pretend to be one on YouTube. Anyway, I have been feeling low energy. It could be post-COVID brain fog, fatigue, whatever. Could also just be that I'm not working out. It could be a combination. I find that in, when it comes to health, it's almost always a combination. It's really hard to pinpoint the one reason for anything. Well, I mean, like if you get hit by it, there are exceptions. But in general, the solution to not feeling crappy tends to be a number of things. What you eat, how much you sleep, how much you exercise, how much time you take to relax, to be mindful. Work-life balance and twerk-life talent, you know? I'm gonna get back to it as soon as I can. I think I'm gonna wait 10 days, so in three days I'm gonna get back to it. I do plan to make a video soon about why I will never quit working out, which is true, even though I did quit for these three weeks, so I don't wanna see the comments later being like, oh my God, you just quit. Why are you saying you never quit? You just quit. I mean like over the long term, I'm never gonna stop. Wow, I just got angry at future comments that might not happen. Making videos makes me crazy. But now I'm gonna mindfully eat tacos for a mindfully eating video coming up with my wife. I'm for tacos! China's not back with the tacos yet. Oh, me hungry. Well, that gives us a chance to clear something up here. Previous video, I went on a grand adventure to get coconut milk to put it in my smoothie. They said I couldn't drink almond milk because I'm allergic to tree nuts, but everyone's like, well, coconut's a milk nut. And yes, maybe it's complicated. The FDA calls coconut a milk, uh, nut. And why do I keep doing that? But I'm not allergic to it. And a lot of people who have a tree nut allergy are also not allergic to it. Some people, are allergic to it. And some people who have a tree nut allergy are also allergic to peanuts. I'm not allergic to peanuts either. And every time I look it up, I get more confused. I don't think we fully understand these allergies. But the point is, a person with a tree nut allergy usually is not allergic to coconut, but can be. And I definitely am. Oh no! No, I'm not. Good thing I got this helmet here. I'm getting pretty animated. Could get dangerous. Unfortunately, it's China's helmet, so it doesn't fit me. Or is it Ada's helmet? My head is so huge that I'm not even sure if this helmet is my wife's or my child's. All smaller helmets, they're foreign to me. In other news, oh, finished this book. The first book in our half-assed book club. I did a couple Reddit posts where you can discuss this book. I think I'm gonna reorganize the Wheezy Waiter Discord so that we can have book discussions, maybe film discussions, and all these other discussions. Did you know there's a Wheezy Waiter Discord? It has existed for a long time. I've been kind of neglecting it. It's linked down there. All in all, I liked it. An intriguing premise involving death and the afterlife with a lot of very witty dialogue at times. I was a little overwhelmed by the witty dialogue. I don't like a lot of jokes. You can tell from watching my videos, I don't like a lot of jokes. No, I do. And I enjoyed the jokes in here, but sometimes, you know, I wanted, it, I wanted it scaled back a little. There was one joke that made me laugh a lot and I'm gonna tell it to you right now. It's towards the end. I don't think it's a spoiler, but if you don't wanna listen, then just don't listen. Okay, now I read it. I don't think it's as funny. I think you have to read the book for it to be as funny, but it, it involves the spork in the character that can't pronounce his peas for those who have read it. I enjoyed that moment a lot. It made me laugh. All in all, I liked it. I liked his book, Lamb, even more though. China's still not back. I'm getting so hungry for tacos. You brought me tacos. And for that, I will forever be in your debt. Great. I'm gonna get a plate. Mm. Can you give me a plate? Please. 
Oh. Now remember, we gotta eat mindfully. This is one of the harder challenges for me. Remembering to do it and doing it are both hard. Happy Thaco Thursday. <laughs> Cheers. This hot sauce is very good on this taco. This taco is very good on this taco. What is it about a taco? Like you could have the tortilla, the meat, the salsa all by itself. Blech! But all together, blah. <laughs> it's really difficult to eat with all this long hair getting in the way. I should go get a haircut. Mm. All right, this is where I go to get my haircut. I mean, exactly right here. How's it look? ago I promised I would make at least two meals a week. Well this is my second meal this week and I'm using a popular meal kit service that has sponsored us in the past. Is there more parmesan or is that it? There's some in the sauce too. Ah them. You didn't even try it and you put more Parmesan on? Yes. And I think people will, will respect that. Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna eat this thoughtfully. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Can I guess what your favorite part of it is? Let me figure out my favorite part of it first. Yep. That you didn't make it. Well, yeah, that is my favorite part of it. I also like the sauce. Ah, now that I've cooked a couple of meals this week, is your life better? Mm-hmm. We win.